What's up, Pisces gang? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am Quisha here with Abundant Healing. I was sent here from the universe to give you guys some good messages, some good love, some good reading, some good healing, some good vibes, honey. I was sent here to give you all of that plus much, much more. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So thank you, lovely, beautiful Pisces, for joining me today. Today we are doing your daily money reading. We do this every single day over here at the Millionaire Pisces Club. So if you believe you could be a millionaire, if you want channel messages on how you can receive more abundance and become more successful and live a more peaceful, more happy, a more joyful, a more fulfilling life, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button, honey. If you are a true Pisces and you want to go along this journey with us, then what are you waiting for? Let's go, honey. Hit that subscribe button. We'll love to have you here. Remember that if anything in this video resonates with you, to leave me a comment. Hit that like button as well. Guys, if you want to support the channel, first of all, thank you guys for all of the support. Thank you, beautiful people who have been watching my videos every single day. I really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much if you have purchased anything from me. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I really, really appreciate you guys. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the links in the description box. We have a self-love mystery box. We have a wealth and abundance mystery box. We have a personalized reading, especially for you. Only $20. If you want your personalized reading, then you can go ahead and get that you can go ahead and get that by clicking the link in the description. Also, we have lots of Pisces merch for you beautiful Pisces. So if you want to support the Pisces collective and you want to, you know, get your shine on and let everybody know that you a Pisces baby, then go ahead and hit that link in the description right under Pisces collection and get you some Pisces merch, honey. Okay. If you want to learn more about crystals, you can do so by going to my website as well, AbundantHealingShops.com. And there is a blog post over there where it will teach you about using crystals. It will teach you how you can heal yourself with crystals. It will teach you all about attracting more things into your life, more good things into your life, like money, wealth, health, love, all that good stuff. You can learn those things by clicking the link in the description box, AbundantHealingShops.com. Okay, so let me stop ranting and stop selling y'all and jump right into your daily money reading because that's what you came here for. I already know. Okay. So universe, what messages do you have for me to give to the beautiful, the lovely Pisces collective today in regards to money, in regards to their success, in regards to their careers, in regards to their wealth and finances, wealth and abundance? What messages, what advice can I give to the beautiful Pisces collective today? Thank you so much, Universe. Please bring in the most relevant messages for the Pisces collective today. Thank you. Please bring in the most relevant messages for the Pisces collective watching today. What are the most relevant messages that I can give the Pisces collective watching? Okay, I don't read reverses, guys. So we are going to turn this right side up. I think my deck is upside down. <laughs> Okay, universe, what messages can I give the Pisces collective today in regards to money? Okay, all right, we got a few cards coming out here. Wow, okay, <laughs> Ace of Wands showing up along with the Ten, the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Two of Swords and the High Riffant, and oh, the Queen of Swords. All right, so at the bottom, we have the Eight of Wands, followed by the Page of Wands and the Star. On the top deck, we have the Moon card, followed by the Nine of Pentacles and the Emperor. So with the Eight of Wands showing up here, Pisces, there is a lot of fast-paced movement that is going on. The universe is saying that um, everything is balanced now, okay? Now it's your time. Now is your time. The ace, the eight of wands is saying, now it is your time to start winning. Now it's your time to, you know, put in that work, honey. Things are going to start happening for you. You might even be traveling somewhere. You might be taking a trip overseas. You may be taking a vacation with your family. Um, but whatever it is, you are definitely in alignment. You have all of your ducks in a row. Um, you've been very, you've been very, um consistent with your work so the universe is paying you off so 
that is a beautiful thing. I pulled this card before I did this reading. Before I started this reading, I pulled one card and this was the card that I pulled, the Eight of Wands. So I just think that it's just, I love when the universe does things like this because it just confirms everything that I already know. You know what I mean? Like, to some people, this is just so taboo. But when you get these confirmations like this, it's like, okay, yeah, there is definitely a force. There is definitely a God. There is definitely a higher power that is here supporting us and watching us, listening to us and guiding us. Okay. So this eight is saying that Pisces, you have been fighting for so long. The seven of wands right before the eight of wands is a fighter. You've been battling. You've been going through a lot of challenges and you've had moments of dark and you had moments where you were down and now the eight of wands is coming and saying okay enough of all the challenges you have finally proved yourself worthy of this abundance and that's what the eight of wands is saying showing up here in your near future not your near future but your most recent past you have the ace of wands showing up here and this is opportunity knocking at your door honey along with the eight of wands as well that's opportunity that is knocking that is wanting to come in so there is so much movement that you have in regards to your money in regards to your career there is so much opportunity for you to take advantage of pisces that is going to bring you so much success that is going to allow you to live more comfortably that uh, that is going to allow you to become more financially free honey Okay, so this opportunity has been knocking and for some reason with this four of cups right here, I feel like you have been, I feel like the four of cups in this particular sense, I feel like that you have not, because this is right now happening for you in your current moment. And what I'm getting is that you're not really, because if you can see her posture, she's very kind of, you know, when someone has their arms folded like this and their legs folded, this is more like closed, right? This is the body language symbolizing closed off. But the opportunity is wanting to come to you, Pisces. Now, you could be closed off because, okay, I'm I'm hearing that don't miss your blessing, okay? If you're too closed off, you will miss your blessing. You will miss this opportunity. So there's an opportunity that is going to, there is an opportunity that is presenting itself to you, Pisces. This opportunity is presenting this itself to you in the form of some type of relationship that you may have with someone that that is going to, help you to build a solid foundation that is going to help you become more stable financially. But because you are an introvert like myself, um, you don't really care about making human interactions. <laughs> I'm with you. I am so with you. Okay. Um, a lot of us Pisces, we don't really care too much for human interactions because it drains us. It drains our energy. And here at the Four of Cups, you're trying to protect your energy. You've been doing a lot of time just, you've been spending a lot of time just meditating, listening to affirmations. Again, I'm going to show you this card again because she has headphones. She's listening to affirmation, maybe some meditation music, maybe something that is uplifting her spirit, but something that is, I feel like she's protecting her peace. Okay, so what the universe is saying with this card is that it's okay to be open to new relationships, Pisces. It is okay to make human interactions. It's okay to partner up with a business partner. It's okay to partner up partner up with a colleague or a coworker or some of some sort of whatever. Um, so that you can learn more. Okay, this is an opportunity that is presenting itself to you. And if you don't take this advantage, then you're going to be missing your blessing, okay? So don't be so closed off, Pisces, okay? Don't be so introverted that you're missing your opportunity for you to build a very solid foundation for your finances, okay? 
showing up here in your near future, you have the wheel of fortune. Y'all already, y'all already know I love when this wheel of fortune presents itself. This wheel of fortune is saying that, honey, what goes around comes around. What you put out is what you're going to get back. And I also like to think of the wheel of fortune as a very lucky card. This is symbolizing that if you've always felt like you're at the bottom, then the wheels are always turning. Okay, so if you feel like you're at the bottom of the wheel, then it is definitely going to spin and you're going to be at the top. If you're at the top, this card is saying to um, remember that everything is temporary. Okay, so don't be... The message I'm getting here from this particular... Because, hold on one second, y'all. There's a message that's trying to come through. Okay. Okay. So, what I'm getting is what the Wheel of Fortune is saying in this reading is everything is temporary. Okay. Just know that if you're at the bottom, the wheels are going to turn and you're going to be at the top. If you're at the top, the wheels are going to turn and you're going to be at the bottom. Okay. There's a, the way that life works. It's not just like an like uphill and then you just stay right there um, and you never go anywhere. If you're at the top, you just stay at the top and you never go down. Or if you're at the bottom, you just stay at the bottom and you never go up. That's not the way life works. Life works like this. If you can follow my finger, follow my finger up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. There's going to be ups and downs in life, okay? There's going to be ups and downs in life. And you have to understand, you have to learn, you will learn how to cope with the downside of, of life and the upsides of life. So when you're not attached to either one of these things and you're just flowing through life because that's what we do, we go with the flow, you will... Your, your human experience will be better, okay? It'll be more fulfilling. When we start to resist these changes, then that's when it starts to get a little challenging for us because we're trying to resist things that are just naturally meant to happen, okay? What goes around comes around. What goes up must comes down, okay? That's just the way of life. All right, Pisces, so please remember that when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your success, remember that one day you're going to be on top and then everything could fail possibly. And this could this this doesn't have to be a scenario, but just remember that nothing lasts forever. Everything is temporary, okay? Just remember that. Showing up here as well, <clears throat> in your most recent past, you have the Hierophant. Okay, the Hierophant is right on top of the Ace of Wands. So this opportunity that is trying to present itself to you, Pisces, it may be coming in the form of you being a leader, being a giver of knowledge, being a giver of wisdom, being a teacher, being a professor of some sort. Maybe you're wanting to start a new career. Maybe you're wanting to start a, um, maybe you want to be a therapist. Maybe you want to be a spiritual leader, a spiritual healer. Maybe you want to be a teacher. Maybe you want to be a life coach, but you want to do something where you could also be wanting to be a preacher. I don't know, but it, it has a lot to do with your morals and who you are to your core. You're wanting to allow this part of yourself to speak to the world and touch the world in a way that resonates with who you are and your core values. Okay. Now this opportunity may be presenting itself to you in a new relationship. You could be, um, meeting someone who is already in this position and you're looking up to this person and this person is very wise. This may become, this may be, um, this person may be a guru or some sort, but you're looking up to this person and this 
and you're learning the key to life from this person. You're learning the keys to success. You're learning the keys to financial stability. You're learning a lot from this person. Okay, but so because I feel like Pisces, we can be a little stubborn. Sometimes we don't really like to, we don't, and I'm just speaking from experience. Sometimes I work better alone. <laughs> I work better alone, okay? But we can self-sabotage ourselves, miss opportunities, block our blessings, because we're stubborn and we don't really like change. We don't really like feeling uncomfortable. So what I'm getting here is it's okay to get a little bit a little bit uncomfortable if you have to get uncomfortable. It's okay to allow someone else to lead. It's okay to allow someone else to teach you the ropes. It's okay to learn from someone else. It's okay to ask for help when you need help. Okay? It's okay to be open. It's okay to invite new relationships in so that you can learn from this person. As long as you and this person are on the same wavelength and you guys are, and this is a good person that you, that your intuitions can trust, then this person is, you know, a good, this person is beneficial to you. Okay. Showing up here in your current moment, you have the, uh, two of Swords, okay? The Two of Swords is coming when you need to make a decision. When there's a difficult decision that needs to be made and you're learning to trust your intuition. You're learning to trust your intuition. There's a, a, there is a, um, there is a decision that needs to be made, okay? Now, with this decision, it's like you're trying to weigh out some options. Okay. So both of these ladies on this, on these cards, both have their eyes closed. One has a blindfold and one just has their eyes closed. So this is telling me that you don't have all of the necessary, or you may feel like you don't have all of the necessary um, information in front of you to make this decision. But the universe is asking you, or the universe is saying to trust your intuition when it comes to making this decision. You may not have the information or you may not have the details in front of you in order for you to make this decision because it's like, should I, should I not? Is this good for me? Or just You're just trying to weigh your options out. Um, but you don't have all of the necessary details in front of you. You can't see. Um, so basically what I'm getting is that the unknown, you're trying to figure out if you should take a chance on the unknown and the universe is saying to trust your intuition because you never know what the universe has in store for you. Okay, so trust your intuition, Pisces. The Queen of Swords is showing up here in your near future as well. This is telling me that you are definitely going to be advancing um, intellectually. So once you make this decision, this decision is going to bring you some clarity. This decision is going to help you to transform your mind, okay? This decision is going to help your business transform. This decision is going to take your business to new heights, okay? This decision is going to get your business off the ground, okay? Now, you may need to speak up for yourself more because I look at the Queen of Swords um, um, as the throat chakra needing to be um, unwind or like unbalanced or something like that. But I feel like with the throat chakra, you know, there is um throat chakra, the, the, the throat chakra is associated with communication willpower truthfulness setting boundaries and expressing yourself so i feel like with the queen of swords here this is um this is you living in your element this is you um transforming your 
mind and your life and your business and your job because you're able to express yourself more clearly now because you you have allowed the universe to guide you and lead you and you know your heart and your mind is in coherence with each other now you're able to exhort your willpower now you're able to set healthy boundaries now you're able to communicate the way that you feel now you're able to communicate your ideas and your business ideas to other people now you're able to um express yourself in a way that you've never have been able to express yourself in the past okay and this is taking your business to new heights pisces okay because I feel like with these two cards showing up in your near future, the Queen of Swords and the um, Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this has a lot to do with getting your business off the ground, communicating um, with others, having um, structured business partners and just knowing exactly what, being strategic as well. But I feel like your business is going to elevate. And I keep saying business because maybe someone here is starting a new business. Maybe someone here has the opportunity to start a new business. And um, you're starting this new business and this business is getting off the ground. Okay, this business is reaching new heights. It's like new, it's like elevation. It's like you're... You're elevating your mind. You're elevating your business. You're elevating your life. This is like an elevation for your life, Pisces. Okay? You're no longer on the ground now because I keep seeing this, this, this butterfly is keep like, it's like it's radiating towards me. It's like it's, it's wanting me to see it. So what this is telling me is that you're transforming from a caterpillar, you know, the caterpillar is always on the ground, to a butterfly. The butterfly is always in the air soaring, okay? And you're always communicating and you're always um, putting things together and you're being very strategic about what you're doing and you're, you know your stuff, okay? You know your stuff and you are setting the foundation for your business and your career to reach new heights. This is a new level. This is a higher level for you, Pisces. I'm excited for you. You should be excited. Take take the take these opportunities as they come. Don't be closed off. Remember to be more open to relationships. Be more open to new um, people coming in your life. Trust your intuition about these people, though. Okay? Because I know sometimes we don't want to allow other people to come in but just trust your intuition and just know that your intuition is going to steer you in the right direction and you are headed to the top baby okay that's what i have for you pisces thank you so much for joining me today thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you guys remember that if anything in this video resonates with you leave me a comment hit that like button if you are a true pisces then you would hit that subscribe button right now okay Remember to always, always take what resonates and leave the rest. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the links in the description box. All of the links how you can support the channel are in the description box. We have lots of things, lots of goods over there for you guys. So go ahead and check it out. Thank you, beautiful Pisces. I love you and I hope you're having a beautiful day. All right, bye.